Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another very interesting video today. Today I am going to solve a puzzle kind of thing. Very interesting question. Let's understand what is the question and then we will move on to the solution. So this is my input table and this is my output table. In my input table I have 3 field ID formula value. Now you have to remember this value refers to this ID. So for ID 1 the value is 10, for ID 2 value is 5 and for 3 40 and for 4 20. And this is the column we need to drive basically, the new value column. How it is drived? It is drived based on the formula. So the formula says 1 plus 4. So what I need to do, I need to add values of 1 and 4, right? The value of ID 1 is 10 and ID 4 is 20. So 1 plus 4, 10 plus 20 is 30, right? Similarly, look at this example. It says 3 minus 2. So the value of 3 is 40, right? And the value of 2 is 5. So 40 minus 5, 35. And similarly, all four those. Okay. I hope the question is clear. Let me move on to the solution. So how we are going to solve it? So first of all, what we need is, we need these three. In the formula, there are three things we need, right? There are two digits and one operation, right? So we need that in separate columns, right? Because if they are in separate columns, then I can work with them. So for example, if one is separate, I can join back with this table and get the value, right? So first of all, what I need to do is I need to separate the three, three things, three information from the formula. So let's start. So what I will do, I will just select a star and I need first digit. So I can say left formula one, right? S D one, it is digit, digit one. Okay. Similarly, I will use right. Formula 1 as D2. So this will my D2. I'll just show you after running this. And then I need the I need the middle one also. So I can use substring function. So I'll just substring. Substring from formula. Right? So substring function says from where you want the character. So on second character, I want one character only. As this is my operation. I will call it as O. Let's run this and see what we have now. Okay, so we have D1, D2 and the operation, right? This is what we wanted. So we have D1, 1, D2, 4 and operation is plus, right? Similarly, digit 1 is 2, digit 2 is 1 and the operation plus and so on, right? Now what we need, we need, first of all, I'm not interested in these IDs. I'm interested in the values of these IDs. So I have to join back with this table and get the values. What is the value of D1? It is, it should be 10, right? 1 is 10. So what I have to do? I have to do a cell join. So how I will do? Let me show you first both the tables. Okay, so what I will do? I will join this one with the this table, right? The new table. And this again with this table and get the value. So let me show you. Let me create a CT with this. With CT as. Okay. Now select from CT. Right. And then what I'm going to do. I'm going to inner join with input table. So let me do that. I'll just minimize this a bit. Okay. Inner join input. So what I will do input on I will call it as IP1 on. So first I need to say ct dot d1 right ct dot d1 equal to IP1 dot id right IP1 dot id. Correct. Let's take what columns are required. So I need ct dot id and ct dot value and ct dot formula this is the these are the from input tables whatever values are there i am just taking now what i need next is i need when i join this d1 with d1 i need the value so i will say d1 value sorry uh, ip1 dot value as d1 value right this will be the value for digit 1 right for this one if i join here then get the value it will say ip1 dot value as d1 value i'll show you how it is coming out and i will do one more join on the id2 right so i will say d2 basically right 
I will create one more input table IP2 and this time I will join this D2, right? D2 is equal to IP2 dot ID, right? And from IP2 again, I will take value and say D2 value, right? This will be a value for digit two. I will say IP2 dot value as D2 value. Okay, let's run this and see what we have. And we, we will take operator as well for now, right? So formula and then we have operator. Operator will be ct.o. Okay, so let's run this and see what all we have now. Okay, so we have id, this formula 1 plus 4. So we have 1 and 4 values, right? And we have operator as well. These three things we needed, right? So 1 is 10 itself, 4 is 20. So we have 10 and 20, right? Similarly, for all the formulas, we have those ID values in different columns. Now we just have to apply a formula so that if it is plus, then we get the addition. If it is minus, we get the subtraction, right? So I'll write a, I write a case statement. Case when, right? Case when ct dot o equal to plus. Then IP1 value plus IP2 value, right? Else, I need to do subtraction because we have only plus and minus. Let's say you have multiply divide as well. So you can write multiple case statement, right? If it is minus, then it is minus. If it is divide by, then do divide and else. For now, we have only two operations. So we are just doing, uh, we are checking if it is plus, then plus. Otherwise, it has to be minus because we have plus and minus, but it can be generalized. Okay. And as new underscore value. Okay, and let's run this. Okay, so we have the new value 30. Just we quickly cross check 1 plus 4, 1 is 10 and 4 is 20. So it is 30, right? Let's see 1 minus 1 also. So it is 3 minus 2. We are getting 35 or 4 minus 1, we are getting 10. Let's see this one. 4 is 20, right? And 1 is 10. So 20 minus 10, 10, right? So we are getting right values of D1 value, D2 value and the one after operations. I hope this was useful. If you have a better solution, if you think there's more generic solution you can write, please write it, put it in the comment section. In the description box, I will put the create table and insert table statements. Thanks for watching, have a great day.